Hey guys, hello and welcome to Zen Innovations and I have this uh, DC water pump and this is often sold as a 3 volt to 6 volt submersible DC water pump. This is for the hobby use and it comes with this uh, awesome 5 inch long wire over here. You can see the length, that's around 5 to 6 inches and because the wire provided is so long, I decided to extend it. So I'll be using a bit of scrap wire. So this is just normal copper wire. Apart from that, I thought that, well, since we are going to extend the wire anyways, why not make it USB powered? So I have this uh, scrap USB plug over here, which I salvaged from uh, useless mobile charging wires. So this is going to be the USB head. And the benefit of this method would be that uh, we can power it using power bank and the pump will start working. So let me arrange all of this stuff for you. You guys hit that nice little like button down below and let's begin the soldering process. So guys here is all the stuff which we are going to need. We talked about these copper wires. These are just old regular electrical copper wires. We will need a soldering set. So I have my soldering iron. I have the soldering wire and at this point I thought that well why not add an LED indicator so I'm going to use any one of this which is suitable so this is the 5 mm LED this is a star type LED you will need a USB plug from an old cable and here's the power bank to test it of course we'll need a bit of insulation tape and we need this uh, mini 3 volt pump itself and guys if you want to buy any of this stuff for example this soldering iron or anything else Links will be waiting for you in description below and I will also put the link for this mini pump over there. So guys I have decided to use this uh, 5mm LED and to regulate the current we will need a small resistor. So I am using a 120 ohm resistor along with this LED. So let's connect them together. So guys here is how the entire project looks and this end is the DC water pump. I am not really comfortable that this joint is going to be submerged in water. So what I am going to do is add a bit of silicone sealant on top of this. And this is the extra wire that is around 10 feet of wire. And this is the USB end. And I had a reason to use this uh, transparent tape over here. And let me show it to you. So let's turn on this power bank like so. And let's plug it in. So you can see I had to use this tape to let the light shine through and you can hear the motor working. So that's it for this little project guys. I hope you liked it. Take care and have a nice day. So friends here is what I was able to achieve. So I dabbed a bit of uh, sealant where the wire enters the motor itself as you can see and the other part I did was on this joint so hopefully this joint is going to be waterproof now and I don't really like the idea of having this 5 inch long wire because the joint will always stay inside the water I wish they had provided at least uh, 3 or 4 feet 
worth of wire. But I guess this will do for now.